Dr. Dr. Paul Barra presents today's creature feature is Gamera versus Paragon. <laughs> now, here's the master of ceremonies, Dr. Paul Barra. <laughs> <laughs> well, good afternoon, whatever you are, and welcome to the uh, tenement castle of Dr. Paul Bearer. <laughs> Here it is, the Saturday after Halloween, and due to the magic of television and the fact that I have a split personality, I'm also in Mulberry at their big carnival and haunted house this afternoon. <laughs> but here in the tenement castle, I've got a can of Fright Guard. Why do I have my can of Fright Guard? Well, that's in case there's any leftover ghosts from Halloween. You gotta be wait hey, wait a minute, there's one now. <laughs> Let me get my trusty can of Bright Guard. Take that. <laughs> well, now that I've gotten rid of our uh our uh, ghost, we can uh, look forward to our horrible old movie this afternoon, which uh, is coming up right now. And it's really horrible. Well, my name isn't Dr. Paul Bearer. over the Arctic Ocean. The bomb exploded, shattering the huge ice flows and releasing from the depths Gamera, the fabled monster who had been imprisoned in the ice for thousands of years. Gamera's first action after he was freed from his long captivity was to attack Japan. All man-made weapons proved powerless against him. resort, the Z plan. Gamera was jettisoned to Mars in a rocket. Again, there was failure. The rocket crashed into a meteor and split open, liberating Gamera from the capsule. Gamera returned to Japan and attacked the Kurobe Dam, the largest of its kind in the entire Orient. Gamera must have a source of fuel. And so, from the power plant, he extracted electricity to store in his own body. Oh, hey, what's that? Hey, it's Gamera! Gamera!
Japan as suddenly as he had arrived and headed for Mount Uzal in the equator, lying directly toward the flowing molten lava. Tell me, are you really going to resign? Yeah. This is my last day up here. But you've just earned your wings after so much dedicated work. What made you decide to quit? Tired of flying already? Certainly not. My dream is to continue flying. Or else life would be worthless. But that's why I'm quitting now. I want to learn more. So that later, I will be more skilled. you. Come in. My brother. Uh, here's all my money. How much? <laughs> it's my pension. Not a big help. Yeah, it's no use working for others. I've got to get my own aircraft company, however small. That'll take money. Well, now that we're all here, I'll tell you the plan. During the war, I found a huge opal. Believe me, it was about the size of an ostrich egg. I found it in a cave. Just before I was taken away to a prisoner of war camp, I managed to hide the opal again in the cave where I'd found it. That was 20 years ago. It'll be gone. The cave lies deep in a dense jungle where even the natives never go. I think that it'll be safe. We'll be taking a big gamble. Yeah. <sighs> We'll be able to sell it for an absolute fortune. Are you sure it's a real opal? It's real. It must be. And there might be more as well. Since I can't get away, case of case, you go. For me. Gladly. You'll all go on a cargo boat. Of course. False names, and you'll carry forged papers. You got them? Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course I have. Cost me a small fortune. For the forgery. This is for you. This one for you. You two will board the ship as ordinary seamen. For God's sake, don't bungle. We're counting on you. Thanks. Okay. The Awaji Maru will reach New Guinea in 25 days. Unload here, and then continue around this area. And then it returns back to the original harbor just about a fortnight later. 
You three have got that two-week period in which to locate the opal. You mean we're to quit the ship without leave and then reboard it again? Hmm. You can always say, we want to pick up the bones of our buddies who died inland during the war. <laughs> Good <laughs> idea. <Yeah. laughs> then when you get to the airport here, you'll have to charter a helicopter. Case of K, you'll be able to fly it for them. That's why you're here. And next, money. Remember to take plenty of black market dollars with you. Be careful of the scorpions. You've had it if they sting. The jungle is full of many other dangers as well. So take these just to be safe. Just who do they think we are anyway? Ah, oh, stop grumbling. Patience. <sighs> Hey, you! Hmm? That room's filthy. So clean it. Do it yourself. Uh, Not a chance, Buster. Oh. Uh. Working hard, huh? Why can't you find us some easier work to do? Just stick with it. Uh, help us out. Come on, huh? We have to clean the washroom, too. <laughs> it's no joke. <clears throat> Only three more days. Are you absolutely sure? Mm. Buck up. Don't give it up now. to walk. It's probably quite far to the caves. Ah. Hey, what is this? Hmm? Huh? Look, there's writing. Of course there is. It's a guidepost. Not much use if we can't read it. How many words or pictures? Hey, give me the map, will you? I think that there might be a shortcut through the jungle somewhere. Hey, watch it. Don't wave that gun. We're quite safe. Look pleased. They helped us a lot during the war. They're good people. So better let me keep it. Give it here, huh? Hey. That's one of them to be our guide. How can I? None of them understand us. You're wrong. I understand perfectly. Come directly from Japan? Yes. Who are you? A doctor. I've been living and working with the people of these islands for over ten years. Our friend, the doctor, came with his wife to study certain diseases. Then his wife died of the very disease he was curing. He decided to stay here the rest of his life. 
It is quiet here. I feel now that I belong to this peaceful village. I never even think of my own home any longer. And I have been extremely fortunate, for Karen is my assistant, and an excellent one, too. Oh. By the way, what has brought you to such a backward spot? Well, sir, we've come to investigate a certain cave. It isn't far from here. Hmm. Doctor, you know where the cave is? Oh, you must not go near that cave. Believe me. And why not? It's called Rainbow Valley. What is that? On that stone, there's a warning to all. It forbids us to go there, and he who disobeys it will not return. But what? Nobody knows. That stone stood there thousands of years, so they say. Only a fool would disobey. Our ancestors handed down a warning that an evil spirit dwells there, and it is dangerous even to approach the Valley of the Rainbow. Then no one here will act as our guide. Certainly not. All the people are begging you not to go. You must respect their wishes on this point. Hey, listen. They don't want anyone to go near that cave. What more proof could there be that there's hidden treasure there? Of course. And they've even created a legend to protect it. The evil spirit is really the Scorpio my brother mentioned then. We'll never get a guide from them. Let's go alone. This way. But what if the treasure really does belong to these natives? So we're going to take it anyway. Okay. Hey, let's go. Come on, but I let's go. No, no. You mustn't go in there. Just wait. Don't go. The man of God. No! Don't go in there! Hey, watch out! All right, all right. I didn't think this gun would come in handy so soon. Right, now, let's go. Stop that! Go back! The guards will punish us! my brother to pick a place like this. We're to turn to the right 15 yards from the entrance, so it must be just ahead of here. Don't be hasty. We made it this far. That's right. Go easy. from that would be the end. Hmm. The gun's proving pretty handy. Hey, we'll share it equally. Whoever finds it, eh? Naturally we will. We're buddies, aren't we? Huh? Yeah. Here. There's something here under the stone. 
<clears throat> Help me push. Oh, look at that. A skeleton. Don't tell me that you're afraid of it, eh? Makes me feel bad. one good thing at least. We've got the opal. We might as well get going. Come on, you can't bring him back to life. Oh. For safety, I'll keep the opal. Hmm? Hey, now. Don't you trust me with it? You can keep the opal. I'll take the gun. Oh. Okay. Wait. There might be other jewels hidden in the cave. I'll bet ours isn't the only one. Let's look now that we're in here.
If you make it, they won't. Well, I hope you're enjoying Gamera versus Baragon. <laughs> Quite frankly, I didn't care for it. Been reading the latest issue of Motor Fiend magazine. <clears throat> Thinking I might need to get myself a new hearse. <laughs> Telling you, I don't know. The re- you know, one reason I drive a hearse is because I'm never bothered by backseat drivers. <laughs> now, the new Molesmobile looks nice. Chevrolet looks pretty good, too, at GMC. How about those? They got some nice ones. GMC, that's General Munster's Corporation. <laughs> uh, and, of course, uh, let's see. I remember the old, the Mercedes Benz, murder Mercedes Benz, too expensive. What I really need is one of those old Volkswagen hearses, you know? Oh, the ones that look like a box. <laughs> the thing I liked about a Volkswagen was when it got old, you never took it to the junkyard. You just drove it to the old folks' home. <laughs> I've been reading an article here about the new electric hearses they have. Yes, environmentally uh, good for the environment. The electric hearse, but they're $100,000. That's $20,000 for the hearse and $80,000 for the extension cord. <laughs> well, well, I enjoy my Motor Fiend magazine. Maybe you can enjoy some more of our horrible old movie. <laughs> What am I doing in this place? We found you in time. You would have been dead. Minutes later. But don't think that we saved your kindness. It's fairly clear. That friend of yours found something in the cave. He's gone. There's no need to cover for him. He betrayed you, didn't he? He wanted all of what we found. An opal. Opal? Yes, huge. It was as big as that. My brother hid the opal inside that cave 20 years ago. It was to be shared between us all. Something terrible will happen if we don't get it back. Thousands and thousands of lives depend on its return. I see. The opal's worth that much, huh? What you found has no monetary value. Doctor, let me get it back from Japan. No, you can't. I will go. Oh, no. You have your patients here who need you desperately. I will go to Japan. You can't. You've never even been there. It wouldn't be sane for you to go alone. Well, I have no choice. I must try to save these people. My child. Ask him to go with me. Listen. The thing you found wasn't a gem. Do you still think that it was an opal? We're afraid misfortune will follow. That's why we are praying. You don't expect me to believe that story, do you? 
Something terrible will happen now. The legend warns that the gods will be angry. You've disobeyed the order. None of us has ever dared to visit the valley. You've touched something evil and forbidden. What it can be, I don't know, but it's certainly not a gem. Come in. Well. Ah, uh, doctor. And how are you feeling today? Oh, fine, thanks. Except for occasional shivers, I feel quite okay. Shivers? That's a natural sign of malaria. Don't worry about it, eh? No, I won't. Thanks. You're an odd chap. Imagine leaving the ship without permission to go through the jungle for the bones of a buddy who's been dead 20 years. Ah, you picked up athlete's foot as well. Mm. Would you like to treat your foot with the infrared ray lamp? Yeah. Tell me if you'd like to use it. Yes, if I could. Sure. Thanks. That's one gift which the jungle needn't have given you, eh? <laughs> Don't keep this lamp on too long. Just about 20 minutes at a time. Yes. Continue it three times each day till you can get to Japan and have it looked at again. That's all right. Is that all? Yeah. Okay. you for my job. But can't you see that I'm a patient here? I'm not a sailor. So what? The doc sent me. We need one more guy and it's going to be you. Well, all right, if you insist. Oh. Uh, watch it. Uh. Sorry, that was unfortunate. Uh. If your hair was thicker, you'd be all right. Hmm? Nice, huh? All right, let's get to that game of yours. Okay. All right. Good grief. You like it? You must be awfully suspicious. I got something important in there. Is it precious? Yeah, my friend's bones. His bones?
There's the ship. What's happening? Gerardo, you sure they've got the Yoko? Hmm. All right, then. Let me see it. You're asking a very high price. Save this. I, I was lucky. Something important. Something important, too. What do you got there? Your friend's bones. You can keep them, you fool. Oh? Huh? They're pig's bones. Mm -hmm. Ah, excuse me. Have you come from that ship? I have. Do you know where Kesa K is? Who'd you say? Kesa K. Uh... He was a seaman on the same ship. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. 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 I can't quite remember. Let me see. Um, oh, but, uh, oh, no, no. Thank heavens you're all right. But where's my brother? He's okay. Bad news. What's happened to him then? Sorry. He's dead. Huh? He's dead? Hmm. He slipped and fell into a steep gully inside the cave. Kawajiri, too. I searched for them both through the whole cave. But I couldn't find their bodies. It was terrible. Did you find the gem? Did you? I want to look at it. Of course. I've got it. Uh, is it true? Is it? Let me see it, then. The opal sank when the ship did. Hmm? I was keeping it safe by hiding it in my cabin. I don't believe you. Well, I'm telling you the truth. The sea is very deep right here. A diver can retrieve it. It's come this far. There's no need to give up now. No, no. You're a fool to think we'll ever get it back. You call me when you found it. Till then, I'll keep my money. Goodbye. Well, believe me. Hey, what's that?
You had a bad day. I'm leaving. Let's go to Kobe. It'll be safe there. No, I'm not going until we brought that oval up here. This confusion is just what we need. Nobody will notice. Not now. Fool! We've got to. No, we'll have to give it up for a little while. I can't give it up. Not after I've killed two men. Anora! We can't wait longer. Anora! What was that you said? Tell me. You said that you've killed two men. You've killed them both? No. I only meant they've given their lives for this. Liar! You murdered my brother so that you'd have the opal to yourself. Of course not. You've killed them. You've killed them both in cold blood. No. You... No.
monster Baragon is its most powerful weapon. Everything within reach is immediately destroyed. monster can destroy everything with its tongue. So as soon as my men get within its range, weapons are useless. Well then, we'll have to make our next attack on it from some distance. Will that be safe enough? Possibly. We do have one sight that's out of his range. Right here, where we have a missile corps stationed, the Suzuka Pass. It'll be too far away. The monster's tongue cannot possibly reach it. Completed preparation, sir. Hmm. We are standing by for orders, sir. Right. Begin the attack. attracted by any form of heat energy. Baragon's rainbow emits an arc of heat, so Gamera is flying toward it over Osaka.